Hi, my name's Jack Hodgins. Welcome to my IT channel, and uh, I've got an unboxing to do, which is the power supply unit for our therm is it thermal thermal tape uh, cube PC we're building, basically. So this is this arrived today. But before we start, uh, I had a quick few questions in. I've started my website, so it's now um, everything I do, like all these boxes, everything I purchase and buy, will go onto my website. So you can see all the various details, what I've got, and obviously, um, not exactly where I purchase this from, because I, e I purchased some of these stuff from um, eBuyer and various other places. But I put the Amazon links onto the same product, because Amazon sometimes do a better deal than eBuyer or where I get it from. And the reason why I put it on there is I've, I'm a, what we call affiliate uh, associated with them. So every time you make a purchase, I get a percentage uh, um, of sale, which then helps to go towards this channel because YouTube YouTube's adverts runs on here. I have to make I have to make thousands and thousands of hits to make any reasonable money out of what I'm actually doing, and a lot of this takes a lot of my time up because I mean it might take like 20 minutes of like doing video, but I spend hours editing all my stuff together and it, I can spend all day doing stuff. I mean I film quite a lot of uh, videos together. And then I slowly sort of push them out throughout the week and stuff. So there's a lot of time on doing this. Uh, so any, any time for like YouTubers, like we when we first start out, we don't make that amount of money. Basically, it's pence. It's it's worse than the average um, going out and getting a job. Basically, so uh, to gain the money up, we then do affiliate sites with other companies, and then we put them on our sites. And hopefully, when you purchase something, we make some money back. So so every time you make a purchase you're actually supporting me to make more videos and keep this channel going because I've got so much IT knowledge that I need to like, create a channel and, and share it with everybody. That's what I want to do. Um, so this is why I'm, I'm done running this channel. So I'm going to teach you everything I, I know on IT, networking, PC, anything related to IT, I will uh, teach you. And, and if there's any questions or things you're, 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 you want to know about and you haven't found the right YouTube video for it, then you comment below, let me know what it is and I'll make a video for you, okay, and explain it or show you whatever, whatever the question may be, basically, and I'll do my best. So everything on my website, so everything I purchase and buy will be on my website. Anything good that I see coming up, good deals, um, you know, some new gadgets, again, that'll be on the website. So a lot of stuff will be on my website, but necessarily on this channel. So if I'm doing a review, and so say if companies decide to send me some free products to review, I'm happy to do the reviews and stuff. But for the moment, I'm going to do p these like PC pro project builds. So we've got the Intel one we're doing at the moment. So this is the Intel one I'm going to do. We're doing an AMD version. This is all out of my own pocket. So every time you guys go and buy something from one of my links, um, then obviously this helps support my channel, so it keeps me making these videos and stuff. So other things coming up, I'm going to teach you like make, how to make networking cables, what switches and routers are all about, um, what broadbands, a bit more insight and stuff into broadbands, more on power line um, network stuff, so a lot of people have been asking questions on that. We'll do some more laptop reviews, uh, I'm going to do some more laptops, uh, we're gonna, with those two laptops I had, the pink and the uh, blue one, we'll do some speed tests and stuff for those, we'll get a bit more detail, a bit more, more on Windows, um, we'll teach more about server and software, it's, it's, it's absolute loads of stuff coming up on here, so keep watching, keep subscribing, keep liking my videos, and let me know what you want me to do on the channel by comment below, alright? So let's go back to this unboxing. This is the power supply that I decided to go with with the new PC build. This is a, a 550 watt power supply. This should be ample enough to do what, what I need it to do. We're not going to be running um, graphics cards or gaming cards on this box. We're just building it as a standard um, build. We're going to run Windows on it, do some bench testing with speed and stuff. And then we'll um, see if we can install like VMware on it, turn it into a virtualizing server. If not, then we'll get, then if we can't get VMware running on this, um, then I will then um, look at getting Windows on it, and then we're looking at a, a graphics card to go into this puppy, basically. So, uh, so, so there's different things you can build this PC for. So I'm literally just building something really nice with a lot of spec on it, and I'm gonna show you how, how you can utilize this where we can be a, a personal fire ser server at home to load all your audio and video stuff onto it and share it out through iTunes, or whatever sharing app um, we, we look at, basically. And we use the Apple TV boxes uh, or other various streaming boxes so you can talk to it. Or where we build this as a new super duper fast PC so you can do like video editing on it, we can do that as well. Or we can actually turn it into a, an actual virtual server where we create virtual, actual virtual servers inside it. So if you're, you're a company and you're, you wanna look at a way of neutralizing and saving costs on lots and lots of hardware, wanna do a cheaper route, 
but effectively with, a decent, with quite a lot of power behind it, this is what this video is all about, okay? So this is the unboxing of the, um, the 550 watt power supply, um, which is this one here. This was obviously brought from uh, eBuyer, uh, came in this morning, so we'll then, we'll, it's an error call, and I will put links down below for Amazon's site where you can actually purchase from, because Amazon does do some good deals as well. And plus you guys out there who's such watching from America, I'll put the Amazon links for the American site as well. So you don't have to sort of buy stuff in the UK and get it shipped over to you. We can buy it directly from the, from the US. That's why I'm using Amazon because I've got the UK and the .com site as well. So, so this has got um, 20 plus four pins, uh, CPU four plus four pins. It's got uh, five SATA power supply um, ports. Um, it's got uh, HD four pin. Uh, it's got a floppy drive one. No one uses floppy drives anymore. Don't know why they even put it in these anymore. And we've got uh, a 6 2 plus pin times 2, which is obviously technically talk, but we'll show you what, what it all about. So let's um, do the unboxing and then we'll get it fitted in the case. All right, let's undo it. It's all wrapped up. Uh, undo it. And uh, we'll try and stick to the same components. So when we do the AMD version of this, we'll try and stick to the same components because. I want to do some testings between whether an AMT chip is better to use or whether an Intel chip is better to use. We'll find out. Because I know AMD um, can, in the past, have been better chips than Intel. Intel sort of catching up. But we'll, we'll find out how much they have been catching up, basically. Nice pack box. Uh, it's come in. And just going to find the right way to open it up. And uh, cool. I haven't built a BC in actually years. So this is quite good fun to do. I mean, enjoying it, basically. So we've got um, power supply safety reminders. So always good to read those. So read those. Um, this is the power. Oh, we've got a box there with bits. So what's have we got in the box? That's all the all the accessories and cables. So we'll just get it all out of the box for a minute. And um, of course, this is well wrapped up. You've got like bubble wrap, and you've got uh, like a polystyrene type box inside that. Power cable. That's it. So put the box to one side. Take the um, bubble wrap off, and there we go. It's a nice big fan underneath, trying to keep the power supply lovely and cool, basically. And then we've got um, various details on the side of specs here. Uh, and then we've got the back, which would be where the power supply plugs in. And then we've got right, right the side here, with all the big cables here, your existing ports for all the other bits and pieces to plug into, which will power the motherboard up and stuff. Um, so there you go, so that's, that's really not a lot to it really. It's a 540 watt uh, power supply, uh, it's got plus 3.3 volts, it's got plus 5 volts, plus 12 volts, and a minus 12 volts as well. Various different things on the PC you'll have. Maximum combined, 120 watts, uh, doing it plus 12 volts, 512 watts, so forth. I'm not going to go right into this because this is all gobbledygook. Never could understand power ratios and stuff like that. I know you just plug it in, it works, it works. Simple as basically. So, what do we get in the box? We've got a um, packet of screws to bolt that to the case. We've got one UK power lead. Okay. And this comes with um, the onboard mother motherboard uh, connectors. And then this all additional cables here, which are for your CETA hard drive compact bits and pieces. So this is the, um, you got, uh, that's that's one CETA cable with a standard normal um, power, um, old, the old way. Because the old um, power supply had uh, these sort of type connectors and stuff like that. But um, so that's sort of, and then you've got another one here. Okay, for I think direct power cable to the graphics card if you're going to be using a, a really good graphics card. Yeah, so we've got some more power cables and CETA cables here. There's quite a few of those. And you've got the floppy drive one here as well. So, yeah, so it's, it's good to uh, various up bits and pieces. Yeah, all good. So we've got those. So we've got plenty of cables here. And uh, so we'll get this now uh, installed. It's quite a nice make, actually. It's, um, yeah, very sort of no jagged edges around the side. It's all neatly... Uh, nicely put together and uh, smells all smells nice and all nice and new basically because it is new um, so on the end the connectors here we've got this all baffled around tower they do give you lots and lots of cable I mean look at the, loads loads of length on that look at that and I find sometimes you've got too much length depending 
depends if you fit in enough. They should do these cables separately so they can come like it's like half size or full size. So if you've got a big, big case, then great, you can use the whole length of that. But if you've got a smaller case, it'd be nice to be half the size because then it, then it gives you all this free space. Um, otherwise, it all takes up all this stuff. You have to keep trying to hide away in the case anyway. So let's um, get the um, case out. So there we have it. We've got our um, case, which has got the CPU and Intel. So we had to fit the, the small Intel fan on this because the fan I purchased was a bit too big than the case. It came a bit too high up. So we're just using the Intel that comes with it. We've got the motherboard installed, all, all rigged in. And uh, <clears throat> all we now need to do is put the power supply unit in here. And then we just then need to purchase some hard drives <clears throat> and some memory. And we're almost there then, basically, so not, not too bad. So this comes with quite a few seat ports on the motherboard, just recapping very, very quickly. So we can fit up to four or six hard drives in this. I'm not going to put a CD-ROM in it because I'm going to use a boot key to boot it from, which is the new way of doing stuff now. Forget DVDs, DVDs are in the past. USB booting, um, that's, the, that's the key, using sticks. So, um, we need to get access to the bottom of the case. Lucky enough, this case actually does um, uh, have, we can take its um, feet off. It gives us easy access to install the power supply unit itself. So if I now put it on its side, take the bottom off nice and easy like so and now we can gain access to the actual underneath so i'm going to move all these cables out of the way with because we've still got to put them on the motherboard so just get them out of the way so they're not dangling in our way we've got and then we can see how much room we've got to actually install the turn it upside down because that's where it's all going to fit in there so this is where we're going to install the hard drive into this this section here so we're going to sort of mount this hard drive up. We've got to make sure the fan is facing upwards. And the reason why that is, if I just lay it in there, when we put the bottom back on, the actual grill bit is actually covering over the fan bit here. So it uh, actually has a way of uh, extracting, um, uh, yeah, extra extracting or sucking in air, basically. So I'm not sure if that blows air out or sucks air in. So there's obviously an intake so it's got to be fitted the correct way around I always end up overheating otherwise so we line this up nice and neatly it's quite straightforward so it literally just guides into place like so and then we can start mounting the uh, screws on the front of this once we line the holes up and it does fit quite nicely given, and still got loads and loads of space around the side here which is great so I'm just going to um, screw screw those two in so we get the screws out and we have four screws. That's what it takes to install this um, power supply unit. And I'm getting quite excited actually this build because I've built a PC in years. I used to do it quite a lot. The men's Dell started um, designing their pre-built stuff and server environments. A lot of companies were steering away from pre-built servers and started going the Dell routes and to the HP and Compact route. Um, and then that's where I basically got lost in not building any of these anymore and companies was now started buying pre-built PCs from Dell and HP. It was so much more easy and quicker uh, than actually having an IT department actually buying all these components to put them all together and stuff, you know? Because um, it would take your time building a PC, you know, from start to finish, especially you had like hundreds to build for, um, for, for a company. So let's get these light holes lined up. Get them on the right place. Um, yeah, so all pre-built, -pre so we end up buying Buying it in is much more quicker than for a company to do it. Um, yeah, so so all the fun was taken out of that. So now this is back to the old roots of actually building a PC from scratch, which is quite fun. And these days, components are really fast. And these days, you can build build a fast PC much much more powerful than you can actually buy one. Because if you buy one already pre-built, they can be more expensive than actually buying the bits yourself and doing it. So there we go. We've got four screws are in place. Two there. So just like the bottom there, um, just angle it up so you can see. So you've got well, one, two, three, four screws in place, holds the power supply. Got the on and off switch here, and we also got it reading up the right, up the right way because that's the fan on the side here. And if we just move, hurry the cables in there a second. See, there's plenty of space in here. You can see we can hide all the accessory, the excessive um, cables. Um, so it has got sort of like a bit like cable management in a way and stuff. And there's no airflow running around here for the power supply because it's obviously coming out from the bottom. So if we lay this over the top, 
slider in quite nicely. And then as you can see from here, if I just take the filter grid off, that it's perfectly over the fan for the um, power supply, which is really what we wanted. And this obviously keeps dust from getting sucked in, hopefully keeping it fairly dust free. We hope so anyway. So that's quite nice. So now we just need to pull the cables through the bottom so we can actually get them on the motherboard. So um, I'm just going to turn her over and uh, hopefully we'll find which cables we need. So we've got one big one here. I'm not going to put them all the way through, just enough to get the one on the motherboard. So that is that one there. And that actually goes directly onto the motherboard. Actually, there's too many cables up here. Let me move some back the other way with. That's the problem with this. It's always lots of cables. So it's getting it all in connected correctly. So you can then, once you're done, you can then look at what you've got left to be able to cable tie it out of the way with, basically. So there's the big one. It only goes one slot on the motherboard. And that's that one just there. Push down nice and tight until it clicks in place. And uh, we can then tuck okay, at the bottom there. Then we have a second power cable here, which needs to come up as well. And um, that also goes on the motherboard somewhere. I'll find it. Right over. Ooh. Is that the right one? Nope. Don't need to use that cable. This cable is for the graphics card. So if I'm running a big, powerful um, video graphics card, that's what that cable's for. So I don't need it. So that can stay at the bottom there. But what I do need is this connector over the side here, which is in one of these packs here. I'm going to find which one it is. Dum, dum, dum. It's not that one. It's, is it three? No, it's two. Oh, don't have one. Okay, so I can't connect one up because I don't have the one for it. But uh, no, so all this one, this motherboard just needs that, that one in there, which we've done. And so I can now start looking at getting these uh, cables in as well. And uh, that's it. So turn it back over. And we're going to have a look. I'm going to move that cable to the bottom. Well, to the top, I should say, now because we're upside down. Because they're going to go on the motherboard. And the rest of these cables that we don't need can be... See, now you can start looking at cables like that can be, now can be um, tied and cable tied here. But I'm not going to actually do all that until all the cable is in place. So um, we'll just put the bottom back on. Put that out the way with. Nice and neat. So it's not too much to fit into this. It's quite quick. I mean, in theory, this build from start to finish is probably about half an hour tops to do it because it's very, very quick. It's literally buying the case, taking the sides off, unpacking your, your motherboard, straight in, screw in. Five, five minute job, maybe less. Um, fit new CPU, again, that's about five, 10 minutes. So in theory, it's, it's a half an hour job to put, once you've got all the components on the, on the bench, it's about um, probably a good half an hour to put all together. So if you know what you're doing, half an hour, maybe a bit longer if you're not sure what you're doing, because it's time to read the manual and stuff and where things go. So um, that's what I can do at the moment till we get the other bits in. So we've got RAM to go in, and uh, I, will order, I will order graphics cards. So if we are going to build this, um, well, I told, I told, we, will, we will build this several things. We'll do, we'll do it as a virtual server, and then we'll also build it as a Windows 10 uh, gaming server, or a Windows 10 uh, editing server, or something like that. But we'll do something anyway, and we'll do different bit scenarios what can be used on this type of board. Because tend a lot of people tend to build build this with Windows 10 on it. So there you go, a gaming station or editing station. So we'll we'll do this. We'll do se several different things for this. So thank you guys um, for watching this channel and uh, I was covering this PC build. If you've got any questions on this build, please do leave comments because I, I will reply. All my comments come through on my mobile phone. So if I'm out and about, I will actually still be able to see them and I'll respond to them for you as well. And you got any questions on this build or there's a particular scenario you want uh, me to look at, let me know, because that's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm your IT guy, so if you want to talk about something or want me to cover something, maybe maybe when we do another build, there's a specific build you want me to do, let me know. I and mean, if, if I can do it, I'll do it, basically. So remember guys, um, if you see the Amazon links below or on my website, click on them if you do find that you want to buy something from them because then obviously the commission I make will actually help to support this channel and me keep doing what I'm doing basically. So thanks very much guys. So remember to uh, subscribe, to like, comment below and see you soon. Thanks for watching.